what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new video this video is going to be completely different than any video i've done uh we are literally about two weeks away from wrestlemania on twitter i asked you guys hey um uh, i've been considering you know seeing who you should watch when wrestlemania tier drops and i said i'll probably do a top five top ten Supercar people you should consider watching if you haven't or have who knows in the next season or next tier coming out in WrestleMania 35 tier they give out some instructions because pretty much it's just there's going to be one guy who will guarantee not make this list for obvious reasons that I stated so everybody else was qualified for this event and I told everyone leave suggestions down below I checked out channels I checked out everything and I'm like all right so here's gonna be the top 10 list that I'm going to go with on this. So I'll go ahead and one by one describe each one and give you the pros and cons on why you should watch this person. Uh, if you didn't make this list, it doesn't mean you're a bad YouTuber or anything. It's just I, these are the top 10 people I would want to watch any day, pretty much. And if it makes y'all feel better, Kim Moose Kill didn't even make this fucking list because he's inactive as fuck. So don't feel too bad. And I love Kim Moose Kill. He's my bro. However, so this is uh, 10, uh, 10 supercars that you should watch. And uh, I will also have mine as well. I also made my own. So it'll be top 11, but I'm not going to include myself in the top 10 because this is 10 people you should watch. But you should also watch me because you're watching this video, obviously. So you obviously probably watch me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and break it down for y'all real quick. So let's start out with who you should watch. There's going to be no range of order. It's just going to be the top 10 people you should watch. Now let's get to the list. First on our list, of course, is of course none other than Super Oh My God Barbecue, a very well-known YouTuber in the community, very well known, about 144,000 subscribers, and probably still going up to this day. People know him as the king of YouTube. Of course, people just compare him to being the king. Cat Daddy Puppet, whatever you know. There's so many nicknames of JB. Good friend of mine. So, yeah, he is the king. Probably one of the most watched people in Supercard history because people love him. He gives them all the content. So, let me go ahead and give you all the pros and the cons of Super Zone oh My God Barbecue right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So, here is the list. He, the pros are very simple. He is Cat Daddy Verified, so he does get exclusive content for all of us to do. He does big pack openings, we all know and love. He gives us up to date content, which is really important. Uh, he doesn't clickbait, which is also a big plus in my book. I hate clickbaiters. And he loves turtles, apparently. Now, here's the cons of Super Zoma God Barbecue, which of course doesn't affect him as a bad YouTuber, but it's just cons that, you know, I think he could work on. Uh, first off, the rumor of him working for Tat Cat Daddy has not been played out. He, he, still, he could be working for Cat Daddy. We just don't know. So, it, it, we, we have to take this serious. Uh, Zolive is still a thing. I don't even think it is a thing anymore. I think it died a long time ago. So, can we just get rid of it? No offense. And Sami Zayn glitch will always haunt everyone's memories of him being a bad person. It will never go away. And I just reminded you all, all about that glitch. Fun times. But anyways, you also go check out JB's channel. Link down below. And let's move into our next participant. Baladad, a family-friendly YouTube channel with his gym and his boy Ninja Boy with 32,000 subscribers is another channel I would recommend. You know, this season, they haven't been the best. Uh, I know personally, they're probably going through problems right now. With stuff, personal life, and stuff like that. So I can understand, you know, Jim is a writer and stuff, and a journalist, I believe. So it can take wear and super card. Obviously, it isn't going to be maybe the number one priority, of course, when it comes to jobs. Just like me, I like to do work, and then YouTube is after work, as always, because YouTube isn't my primary job. So uh, it's a, it's a family-friendly channel. It's very well-known. 32,000 subscribers, obviously. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the pros and cons of Bad Lad Dad. So here are the pros and cons for Bad Lad Dad. He is Cat Dairy Verified, so he does get exclusive content. I love his slogan to begin the video. People! Great. 
family friendly and up to date content as always. And Jim does love turtles and KFC night. I forgot to put that on the pros. Now the cons, of course, not as active as he used to be uh, due to personal reasons. I know he's probably going through stuff, so you know, hang in there, big Jim. But everything's that's happening. And uh, some people might find it too family friendly. You know, uh, I guess it's it's weird to say. I guess you could say, but. I think, you know, some people think, okay, it's just too family-friendly. I want it mediocre. PG-13 would be okay, and, but then you get just PG. So uh, I guess that's not truly a big con, but for some people, it might just be a little turn-off because they want more, a little grown-up type of content. And now we get into the next person. Who's next on the list? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Biggie Dude 33 was going to make this list. This guy has been my ultimate reason for starting YouTube. Him and uh, I believe it was Desert Eagle were the two main guys I watched when season one came out. And I start, and then I decided to start doing YouTube. And then in December, that's when I started. And then, of course, Biggie Dude was doing it way before that. Of course, I would believe it was August when the game released. And uh, watching him for months, months was really awesome. It inspired me, and uh, it wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him, partially. And you know, I thank Biggie so much. He's an amazing content creator. You know, a very active one as well. Uh, you know, a little recently it hasn't been as every day as it used to have been, but he was one of those guys who would post every day, no matter what, 7 a.m. up in the morning, a video up. 112,000 subscribers. He loves cheese, and he's just amazing. And let's get now. Let's get to the pros and cons of my my fake dad, <laughs> Biggie Dude 33. All right, now for the pros. Uh, yeah, buddy is his slogan, and it's been going strong for five years. So that's one reason. That, yeah, but he's a pro. Uh, Cat Daddy verified. He is uh pretty much uh he gets exclusives from Cat Daddy as well. So he's obviously someone you want to watch. If you're interested in that, uh, he's a teacher and a singer at the same time. <laughs> he's a music teacher for you know school, so he's obviously a friendly, uh, child-friendly PG channel. So uh, up-to-date content always, and he also likes turtles. Now the cons could it's debatable, but he doesn't curse on his videos, and it makes me sad because it really does make me sad. And I know you guys are wondering. Uh, Clear here to subscribe. Thank you if you already did. That is his actually outro. The problem is, is he's never actually added the subscribe button at the end. So when you click the thing that says click to subscribe, guess what? You're not going to actually subscribe. You're going to pause the video. And it triggers me to this day. That, can you freaking add the little marker there? So when people do click, they can subscribe. It triggers the shit out of me. All right. Now let's get to our next participant. I'm not going to lie, Matt is probably going to fucking kill me for using this photo, but I thought, why not? <laughs> Anyways, guys, this is Cool Guy Me, a great, awesome YouTuber with uh, almost 10,000 subscribers and uh, without a doubt, one of the top-notch content creators on Supercard. Um, you know, I, f I think I, me and Matt were became friends around season three or four of Supercard. He was one of those kids who pissed me off with his PAX openings. Met the kid, you know, he's not that bad of a kid. Well, hell, I, shall, I shared a hotel room with the guy as well at Mania 34. Nothing happened in the hotel room. Just going to say that right now. Nothing happened. Well, maybe a few things did happen. But we'll leave it at that. So, uh, you know, he's an awesome guy. Awesome content creator in my eyes. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the pros and cons of Cool Guy Me. All right. So the pros and cons of Cool Guy Me. He does give up-to-date content, of course. So, you know, he is pretty uh, active on YouTube and stuff. Uh, he does pack opening, so you guys love that. Uh, his intro is, yo guys, and I think that's catchy as fuck. He removed that shitty piercing from his eyebrow back in season four, I believe. And I'm proud of him for doing that. I'm proud of you, Matt. Uh, like turtles as well. Go on, Matt, go on and like them. And it seems like everyone likes turtles these days. Now the cons for Matt, in my opinion. Uh, not as daily as others, you know, he does post a good amount, but when the game gets stale, uh, the posts can drop a little bit. 
And if you ever seen him get a pack that he like likes likes, oh god, they could be some cringy ass celebrations. But nothing's too serious, I guess. I guess we all will kind of cringe and mark the fuck out when we get a card we really, really want. So, eh, in this respect, I guess that's not a bad thing. Somewhat. <laughs> we hate cringe anyways. All right, next participant. Let's see who we got. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, my boy, Funky Town. So, guys, Funky Town is a great YouTuber. Um, I discovered him probably season three or four i'm not 100 percent sure uh he is a, a 6.2 thousand subscriber youtuber uh pretty much gives up-to-date content all the time amazing guy the irishman he probably doesn't even celebrate saint patrick's day because he's irish so he probably celebrates that shit every freaking day so i he probably he'll probably make a saint patrick's jokes and he, i think he already did I predicted he would make a St. Patrick's Day shirt uh, joke, and he did on Twitter. So you're a funny guy, Tom. I predicted you so well. God, you Irish people. You Conor McGregor. God, fuck. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the pros and cons of Tom Funky Town. All right, the pros are, hey, yo. You obviously heard it and say that in the very beginning of this. And that's his slogan that he likes to say. So, hey, go on, Tom. Uh, pack openings. He does pack openings for you guys. I know you guys love pack openings. So, obviously, someone we want to go check out. Cat Daddy Verified. He recently has been verified by Cat Daddy to get exclusive content. So, you might obviously want to go ahead and check him out because, obviously, he's going to have exclusive content. Uh, being Irish is a pro because there is no more Irish. There's no other Irish people out there who do Supercard on YouTube. So, I guess that's a plus. And, apparently, Tom does like turtles. Wow. Everyone so far has liked turtles. I'm blown away. Uh, the cons, he likes to do predictions, like to comment down below and predict what you get to get. However, the video is already recorded. Now, if it was a live stream, I can understand that. But predictions on a recorded video, I just don't think it makes too much sense because people are going to already know what you're going to get in the video and then they could just write whatever the hell they want. And I, I look in the comments and no one ever predicts anything. Besides, oh my god, I knew you were going to get that. But yeah, other than that, yeah. And he never gets drunk. For someone who's Irish, I'm very disappointed. He never is drunk. And uh, either on stream either. So yeah, I'm very disappointed. You don't represent Irish Ireland as I thought you would. Anyways, let's get to the next participant. Tom motherfucking Sharpie. So I've known Tom Sharpie since about season two, I believe. Uh, he was a up. He just came like he went balls out uh, on Supercar in season three. I believe was the season where he exploded. Uh, he's currently at twenty one thousand six hundred subscribers, I believe, and uh, he came season three with a bang, uh, gaining so much in subs, views, and he just killed it in season three. You know. Congrats on the working out, though, because uh, he used to be a big guy like myself. Uh, I am currently am, and then, of course, he just went into full gym mode and then uh, pretty much have killed it since. So, yeah, he's now a gym freak. I can never be a gym freak because, fuck, that shit bores me to death. But, no, shout out to Tom, man. He's killing it with that, and his, he killed it with the content. Uh, unfortunately, in Season 4, he wasn't really active on it, you know, but, uh, you know, he's came back in season five now and he's getting back to these old roots. So let's go ahead and check out the pros and cons of Tom Sharpie. Okay, so the pros and cons for Tom Sharpie. He is Cat Daddy verified, so he does get exclusive content from Cat Daddy. Obviously, that's something you guys want to like to check out when there's new tier stuff and all that other stuff, obviously. Up to date content, he does give uh, people up to date content. Doesn't recycle the same old content over and over. Thank God. I love those type of people. I hate those people who put the same video five or six times in a year. You, you suck. I hate you. Uh, yo, 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 people. His slogan, obviously, a good catchphrase. The Ring Dom King. Um, I was going to put that as a con because I don't know how you could be a Ring Dom King, but that's his thing, so I'm going to let him have it. And apparently Tom likes turtles. What the fuck is going on, turtle lovers? I love this. Yes. Now the cons, uh, not as active as uh, like you know other people out there. Of course, when the game is uh, stale, which is also the, the next con. Too many breaks when game goes stale. He does tend to take breaks when the game is stale, and I, I understand why. You know, but you know, in this day and age. Taking breaks is really, really hard. Uh, I've suffered from taking so many breaks myself. 
And uh, I was, yeah, as you can clearly see, I suffered tremendously taking breaks. But, you know, uh, Tom didn't really suffer that bad, so he's very lucky. I unfortunately have. But, uh, yeah, so not that much bad of a cons, you know, just maybe just a little more active. But, you know, he, he I respect his hustle because he actually works, has to go to the gym and stuff. So I can understand that. Anyways, next participant. Marson, a guy who I honestly don't check out as often as I should, but of course there's a reason why I don't check him out as much, because I don't understand German, which is a huge problem. I do think he does speak English though, but you know, he's more of a German YouTuber for all you people out there who are German. This guy is probably the guy you want to go to because unfortunately I believe Christ TV, who I love so much, has uh, decided to part ways with Supercard. He was actually a guy who's actually really good friends with Marcin as well. Uh, Marcin's a YouTuber with 3,400 subscribers, I believe. And, uh, you know, so, you know, I don't really watch him as much because, you know, I don't really understand German. But he does put out some top-notch content for you guys. And for all my German fans out there, he is one guy you should definitely go check out. And hopefully maybe you can even, in, like, put some English in there. Or I'm not sure if he's Dutch as well. Who knows? I don't know 100%. I think, I think where he is is from Germany. So I'm going to predict Germany is where he's from. So let's go ahead and see the cons and the pros for my boy, Marcin. All right, pros and cons. Up-to-date content. He seems pretty active on the YouTube scene. Possibly speaks English. I don't know. If he does speak English, that is going to definitely be a pro. Uh, he does pack openings, I believe. I think I've seen him. Of course, he's active. And apparently, Marcin loves turtles. God, if I get one more person who loves turtle, this is going to be totally crazy. Now, the cons. Possibly speaks English. I don't know if he speaks English. And that could be a problem. So, I'm not 100% sure. And, of course, the con of course the language barriers. You know, uh, there's more English-speaking fans than German fans, even though I know the German community is fucking awesome. I always hang out with the German community when I'm in Christ TV streams, and they're fucking awesome. I love the German community. So, uh, that's probably one meh. So, but other than that, great guy, awesome guy. Let's get into the next participant. JT Judgment. A really cool lad with 4,000 subscribers who is part of the Bad Lad Dad Army, uh, who is, of course, you know, Bad Lad Dad. We did talk about him briefly earlier in this video, Big Jim. He is part of the Bad Lad Dad Army, and he's on the team. And he's also a great lad. Um, you know, he has unfortunate setbacks this season with the whole issue of bands with uh, the YouTube channels. He was one guy who got struck, I think, twice, unfortunately. So this guy has gone through so much this season. Uh, I believe I met him. I, well, I didn't like, meet him in general, but I'm, you know, I saw him season four of Supercard, and uh, I think he was a FIFA YouTuber at first, and then he came here to the Supercard community, and you know, he's been he's been doing pretty well for himself. You know, you know, I just wish he was a little more active than he was. I guess it's just maybe a computer problem that he also has as well. I want to see from tweets. So let's go ahead into the pros and cons of JT Judgment. All right, so the pros for JT Judgment, he does make long videos, uh, pretty long videos. So that's one good thing about him. You, I know some people love long videos. And, you know, since he doesn't upload every single day, he usually has a crap load of content for when he does upload. So it gives you the longer video. He gives up to date content, of course, doesn't recycle content. Same thing over and over, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Hi, guys, is his catchphrase. Pretty simple. I think that's a, that's a decent pro. Okay, simple catchphrase, simple intro. Uh, a hard worker, in my opinion, when he makes his videos. Great layout, of course. And he likes turtles. Can you believe that shit? Uh, I'm, I, no offense. I think hard worker as a pro. I think I, I think everyone before that was a hard worker as well. Uh, I just didn't have much with JT to, to think of. You know what else could I add as a pro? So I added that. So to everyone before JT, you are also hard workers. You guys are succeeding. You guys are awesome. Now, the cons, uh, not as active. Obviously, he doesn't post every single day. So, that's a con. And I think he hasn't even had a collab with anybody. And uh, if he can collab with someone, I think he could be something special. And so, uh, JT, I would recommend you consider collabing with someone, man. You seem like a great editor. 
why not collab it could do something for you and i got plenty of ideas man so we could actually one day collab if you like so consider it anyways let's get to the next participant we're coming down to like our final two or three i might have to add an extra guy on this list Swaf Gaming, a guy I really didn't even know recently until someone brought him up. I decided to check out his channel, and you know, I was pretty impressed. This guy does a lot of live streams for you guys, so that's pretty awesome. I know you guys like live streams, so he's a YouTuber live streamer. You guys should definitely check out. Does have some good content. Does do awesome stuff, in my opinion. I just discovered him a week ago. I think you guys should go ahead and give him a big opportunity. Uh, he has 660 subscribers last time I checked. So, you know, he could definitely use a boost. Uh, he's not that bad of a guy. It uh, seems like he knows me pretty well. He knows a lot of the community pretty well. Did check out one of his streams. And, you know, he does pretty... He's, he's, he's very uh, communicative with the community. Let's go ahead and check out the pros and the cons of Swaf Gaming. All right. So, here's the pros and cons. Uh, he seems up to date with his content. He streams daily, which is pretty good. Active. His communication with the community is awesome when i see him in streaming he's very very communicative with him that's one plus for someone who's very active who talks to the community answers all their questions doesn't dodge shit pretty nice guy besides of course i think he dodged a couple questions when it comes to people that he doesn't want to talk about but other than that i can understand why and i believe he likes turtles as well wow shit we're about to go from maybe 10 for 10 on this list now the cons i don't know him well enough and uh you know that could who knows if I'm doing, like, I don't know the guy well enough. So, you know, but I say give him a shot. I think this guy deserves an opportunity as well. You know, I don't know him well enough. I'll probably get to know him one day. And uh, as another con, maybe he does hate turtles if I don't know him well enough. I don't know. But, but besides that, I can't think of anything else right now. But you know what, guys, go check him out. I think he needs to gain more than what he has now. And now... Another participant. I J H T B D, or if you want to go by his full name, it just had to be done. Is a random YouTuber that I came across that people suggested I watch, and you know, I watched him, gave it a shot, and uh, pretty pretty nice dude, I, I would say. He doesn't follow me on Twitter, so a little weird that he doesn't follow me. But I, I ain't gonna kill the guy for it so you know he I, I, i'm pretty sure he knows who i am because obviously people suggested it to me and he, but uh he's a youtuber with six thousand subscribers i never really came across him so it was interesting and you know he seems to be a very top-notch guy knows what he's doing uh he loves alexa bliss as i could tell and i guess he loves becky lynch i guess he is a big female guy so yeah i think he has this thing for alexa bliss i'm just gonna go with that right now but let's go ahead and see the pros and cons of this person uh, of course, I just discovered his channel, so obviously I don't have enough. I think you guys should go ahead and at least check him out because this does seem to give out good content. So let's see the pros and cons. Okay, so the pros and cons. He is up to date with his content. Doesn't seem like he recycles content like some people I know. So that's good. He's semi-active. So semi-active means he'll post a video probably every two days, every three days. Uh, I was looking at like the times of his videos and it seems like he does post every two to three days a video So that's one and I didn't include this on the list. He does pack openings. I'm pretty sure You know, he does have a fair amount of credit So I would say he probably most likely does pack openings. not 100% sure But I would probably suggest he does pack openings. So that's one reason probably to check this guy out guys And he likes turtles. I don't That's we have a full list of people who like turtles Bravo, Supercar Community, for loving the turtles. Now, the cons, I don't know him well enough. That's obviously going to be a con for me because I don't know him well enough. Obviously, you have to get to know the guy more. And I'm adding him to this list because I think he deserves a chance to be good. As I don't know him well enough, he possibly does hate turtles. So, But I don't know. He'll probably defend himself if he does not hate turtles. And uh, not as as others, you know, there's people who post every single day. Uh, he doesn't post every day, but maybe he might change that up in the future. You know, he, he, it's, the content's pretty amazing. I guess I'm looking at it from a time frame of when the content right now is stale compared to when it goes happy again. Maybe he'll give you guys 
content every day but right now from what i've seen so far in the very beginning it's every two to three days his content so but i don't think i think honestly a nice guy go ahead and check him out and uh yeah so i wasn't gonna end the list here however i think we need to add two more people to the list uh, obviously one of them is going to be obvious as fuck but i think this dude deserves to be on this list i know he's probably like what the fuck Ed? why haven't you added me to this list yet uh and if you didn't make this list, I do apologize. These are the people that truly seem to catch my attention. Uh, but yeah, um, if you if you are a content creator, leave your channel down below. I will gladly let you advertise yourself on my channel. Just advertise your video down below and say, hey, check me out. And guys, go check them out. I think everyone deserves the opportunity. There's like maybe just one or two people I think that are really just pretty much money hungry, advertiser hungry. Uh, fame hungry and that's not something I look for in a youtuber like that I like someone who cares about the game cares about the community and just doesn't rub it in their face so those are the people who have made this video but there's one more person I forgot totally to put in this video and I think he deserves to be in this uh, you know who I think you know who you are yes none other than my boy D Brown he is a YouTuber I've known for many years, I believe, so far. Uh, I think it's been two or three years I've known him. He's at 1,700 subscribers. A guy who is truly underrated, in my opinion, who hasn't had the luck that he truly deserves. Uh, D. Brown is a Portuguese YouTuber, and he, he speaks English. It doesn't mean he, he speaks Portuguese, but he is a Portugal YouTuber. Uh, and uh, he hasn't got the credit he deserves. You know, 1.7K for doing all the things he's done, and he's a pretty good editor, in my opinion. Doesn't get the credit he deserves. I think you guys should go check him out, give him some love. Uh, unfortunately, right now, I think the game is stale, which is why he's not uploaded recently, so kind of sucks. But I think if he had the success, that would drive him to making more content. But, you know, I guess he's just hasn't had that success. You know, because that motivates us to upload a lot more. And if you don't get that, sometimes you just drag. And the game is a little stale right now, so I can understand that. Let's go ahead and see the pros and cons of D Brown. All right, so here are the pros and cons for D Brown. Uh, active when the game isn't stale. He's a very active guy, so definitely somebody you want to check out. Probably when WrestleMania 35 here comes out. Up to date content uh, when it when of course the game is going great. Uh, it is me, D Brown. Is his uh, intro pretty simple? Love it. Keep it simple, bro. None of that forty-second intro bullshit of social media and crap. And then, then after that, two minutes of fucking talking. People's intros like that are just getting that ten-minute mark. Pack openings, obviously. He does pack openings. The guy's a legend for it. So yeah, keep it up. And apparently, D Brown likes turtles. Uh, the cons: not as not active right now currently not active when the game is stale or he just just hasn't been active at all don't know what's going on man but i hope when he comes back he is active as fuck and gets the credit he deserves definitely someone you guys need to check out and he loves ronaldo which is a con for me because i'm not a big fan of cristiano ronaldo but he loves ronaldo because he's obviously he's from portugal and it kind of makes sense but you know eh, he loves ronaldo i hate that guy anyways so that will do it for the top 11. I added 11 people to this list. If you did not make the list, I do apologize. Guys, leave your channels down below. And guys, everyone go check out those people down below that put their channels there. Guys, go check them out. They deserve the credit, you know, deserve to be checked on. I think everyone besides two people who deep down deserves to be checked on. And uh, so the, all these 11 guys are awesome. And if you didn't make this list, uh, again, I sincerely apologize. Nothing against you. It's just these other guys that I would tend to watch more. And uh, I think if you guys just advertise below, you have my permission to put your channel down below. I have no problem with that. And I know I'll even give you my review of you after watching, all right? So we're going to end this video off now with my pros and cons of myself. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado... Here's me. Edward Leesman. How can I describe this guy? Guy's a fucking mess in my opinion. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me. Hey, what's up guys? So pretty much I'm a YouTuber who started out in December of 2015. 
gained pretty well in season one. I think I had like about eight, nine thousand subscribers when uh, season one came out and finished. And then from there on, from seasons two to four, I went from nine to ten thousand, and I never gained anything because I took so many breaks from the game on YouTube. I didn't take breaks from the game, but YouTube. I just took massive breaks because I just wasn't feeling it. There was times when the game was stale and I didn't want to upload boring you guys to death. And, you know, that's just been my philosophy for so long. And then, you know, Season 5 has now come out. I've gained 5,000 subscribers since Season 5 has came out. And it's literally been insane the way I've been getting all the true support. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being so fucking awesome to me. Invited, letting me in your living room <laughs> or in your phone, whatever you want to, how you want to put it, for so long. So I greatly appreciate it. Now let's go ahead to the pros and cons of Edward Leesman. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the pros and cons for me. The pros, up to date content. Guys, I give you guys up to date content all I can, and that's something I love to do. I'm active. I probably just maybe miss one day usually. Here and there, especially like on a Wednesday or something, when the content just isn't there to provide for me. You know, I don't have uh, other people's giving me their content, and I'm not a big fan of stealing people other people's content. I feel like they deserve their own credit. Who else would want someone to open up their packs and other stuff like that? It's just not for me. Uh, I can understand some people like that, but you know what? I only like to do that during the beginning of the season, so that's just me. So, uh, short and to the point video. Some people I actually don't like that a lot, but I think it's a pro. I like someone who's just simple, straight to the point, gets the content out, yada, yada, yada. Communication. This guy, when I stream and answer comments down below, I'll answer everyone I can and uh, pretty much communicate with you on stream. And uh, yo, guys, is my slogan as well, I guess. So, that's kind of. Now, the cons. Uh, I like to curse a lot, and that's not. That's definitely something I need to work on, I know, but you know, I've been doing it for five years, cursing. I curse in real life. I'm from New York. All you hear is fuck, shit, bitch on the streets of New York City a lot, so I do apologize for that. It's just something that's been a, for, it's a, it's a New York thing. Of course, it doesn't help me that, you know, Luge doesn't do it, but I know what Luge, I think Luge understands where I'm coming from. Shout out to Luge, by the way. You should ask her to check out her. She does supercar videos. You know, it's just, uh, I didn't add her to this list because she only uploads Supercar once a week on Wednesdays. And uh, I think if she added more, she definitely, but she is Cat Daddy Verified, guys. So check out her when she gets exclusive, exclusive content. Shout out to Luge and congrats on the baby girl. Hope she's doing well. Uh, another con for me is I'm not Cat Daddy Verified. Me and Cat Daddy have never had a strong relationship, obviously, because of con number one, cursing. So, yeah. Hates turtles. That's definitely a typo. I love turtles. Uh, drama. I have been part of drama for so many seasons. Uh, it's it's something I would like to get away from, but it's more of like people take criticism of stuff and then turn it into drama instead of just taking the criticism. And then I, of course, when I, I just fire back, like, dude, you don't get it. And then it just pisses me off and I just love to attack after that. Because when they don't get it, it just pisses me off. Just take criticism. I take criticism all the fucking time. And I dealt with, I dealt with it for five freaking seasons. Like, why can't people just take criticism instead of just blocking you on Twitter? Or just giving you the big fuck you and just, yeah, whatever. And then a poops while playing. It's, it's a habit. Sorry. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy it, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to your channel. Subscribe to everybody that was on this list if you guys can. And go give them a watch at least. That's all I ask for you guys to do. And uh, also, if you weren't on this list, leave your channel down below. Advertise yourself. Show people why they should subscribe to you. Make a statement, an essay, paragraph, whatever you want. Just leave your channel down below and advertise yourself. And uh, hit... Here we go, boys. Season 5, WrestleMania 35 series just around the corner. Go check out these every content creator you can for Supercard. Besides one or two. Obviously, I'm not going to name them, but you guys know who the fuck not to check out. People who are money-hungry, fame-hungry, don't care about the game, Supercard guys. You know who they are. Check out the people you rightfully deserve. Uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace out. By the way, it took me one hour to do this entire video. Fuck's sake. I suck at editing. I hope this was this went well i don't even know but give me some props i did one 
this took me an hour. I've never done videos like this for an hour. Streams, yeah. Videos like editing this shit, hell no. I think I gotta get a good thumbnail for this too. Fuck. Messiah, I need you, bro.